What up you guys, back at it again with another video. Uh, got a lot going on today, but I wanted to shoot a quick video and uh, give you guys a lowdown on this Moto Compacto that I just picked up a couple days ago. Um, I was looking around on YouTube and there's a couple reviews and people going through it and showing you all the knickknacks and all the little things. So I'm not gonna go and do all that for you guys, but I did wanna talk about it in terms of uh, what it really is uh, to, a, to a Honda guy like myself. And uh, it's got some really interesting things about it. Uh, first off, it's a little bit sketchy. And that's awesome. Why is that awesome? Because it doesn't really go that fast and it's really safe. So there's a little bit of this sketchiness that it seems like they put into it to make you feel like you're kind of cutting loose on it. Um, and that's actually really cool. I think uh, I think a lot of Hondas do that, right? Not a lot. Not a lot of Hondas are like break your neck fast, but they really give you the idea that you're going real quick. And this thing kind of does the same thing. Something else that I noticed uh, pretty much right away that is pretty interesting is that it's got it's only got a rear brake on it, and pretty quickly you realize that you get a bunch of oversteer when you when you turn and hit your brake. And that's really fun. So they implemented some type of handling characteristics into it uh, to let you legitimately goof around and have a good time. If it's a little bit uh, damp on the ground, you can get that rear end to, to cut out on you. It's pretty fucking cool. Um, also, I've been driving it a whole bunch the last couple days, and I've been taking it on some very uneven pavements. And... Uh, Honestly, I've kind of just been stress testing it. And you know what? So far, so good. I haven't had any issues. Um, the one thing that I ran into was um, a little piece of my rear tire uh, peeled up. And when I would go quick, it was hitting the inside of this plastic, giving a little tink, 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 tink. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Um, threw it on my little bench, and then I just cut off that little piece of rubber that was hanging there. Um, these are solid rubber tires. So you can kind of, you can go wherever on them. Um, you can go through glass and you're not going to worry about, you know, popping a tire or something like that. So that's cool. But the downside is it's really got zero suspension on it. Um, I mean, <laughs> your, your ass is going to be vibrating. And, uh, you know, that combined with this tiny little seat. You're not going to do that much riding. You know, the, the battery so far from what I've seen, it, it gives you about maybe two and a half hours on a full charge, full throttle, which is pretty dang good. Um, and that's about as long as you probably need to be riding this thing because it's fucking kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That seat is brutal. Um, I was wondering why they didn't put a more comfortable, nicer seat on it. And I've come to the conclusion that aesthetically it just wouldn't look as cool if they had a big old fucking banana seat on it or a big old just just a big tushy, you know? Um, so that's why they didn't do it. I've seen a couple of guys that have already modified the seat on it and put a, a bicycle seat on it with uh, some suspension on the lower side. So might be something that I'll look into doing on an extra seat if I grab it for extended use. But um, as it sits, it does everything that you want it to do. You could even kind of depend on this thing. I mean, I was, I mean, I was kind of thrashing it, if I'm quite honest with you guys. And it's been holding together very well. Um, Honda does support this vehicle. Obviously, it just came out, but they do have replacement parts for everything. So if you do break something or you use up any of the consumables, you can easily go through and uh, replace it. So. It seems pretty much user-friendly as far as taking it apart and goofing around with it. If you're if you're just you know uh, a beginner uh, at mechanics, uh, you, this is a great place to kind of goof around and, and figure things out. It's got some cool little stuff um, to tighten the brake cable. You just turn this thing. You don't even need a tool. You can just turn it, and it'll click. And you can tighten up that that slack on the brake cable. I've already had to do that once. Um, yeah, what else? Um, it kind of sucks that it doesn't have any security on it. 
I would have liked to have a key or something or a little key fob or something just to kind of keep it secure but it doesn't have that so if someone grabs it it's theirs you know um, there's not much you can do to prevent someone from stealing it other than just don't don't put it in the position where it's gonna get stolen you know um, yeah this is gonna be a cool little um, just like a little vacation accessory you know what I'm saying go down this steep hill here but I'm gonna go left-handed so my hands on the brake here and I'll just talk to you guys while I go down this hill um, but yeah uh, my girlfriend and I we went out yesterday my, my brother's got one he let us borrow it so we're just going out and checking it out together it's the perfect date vehicle gotta be honest I mean it's cool because I you know I used to be uh, into ruckuses I've had three of them and the ruckus is cool okay like a squirrel um, but it's funny that the pros that you get over this thing on a ruckus is not as many as you might think. And this thing's got a hell of a lot more pros over a ruckus. Um, some chance on you guys. Throttle. You can't uh, record and drive with one hand because one hand has the brake pedal and one hand has the accelerator. I kind of wish you could do it all with one hand so I can just one hand it, but you can't. Um, people are saying that this thing goes uh, 15, mine goes 16, so I don't know if I got like a, like a special one, a little, got a little extra juice on it, but this thing hauls ass, dude. Um, like I said, it feels sketchier than it probably needs to, needs to. Um, but to be honest with how little the safety is on this thing, I wouldn't really want to be going faster than 16 miles an hour anyways, if I'm quite honest with you guys. Um, incredibly fun, incredibly fun to ride around. I'm on my lunch break right now, and I just went out for a little scoot, and it puts a smile on my face, like, immediately. So it's, yeah, it's, it's hella fun. Um, another thing that's nice about it over a ruckus is, I mean, you can bring it places. A ruckus, unless you got a truck, you know, or a big old CRV and you put the seats down, you can throw a ruckus back there. But with this thing, you can stack, I mean, I can stack like eight of them in my little CB Honda Accord if I wanted to, you know? So that's really fun. Um, what else can I say about this thing? It's just a, it's just cool, guys. I, I don't know how long they're going to be selling this thing. Um, I do think they fumbled the launch big time on it. If they would have just had a lot of units ready to go and then went hard on marketing, they could have maybe sold this thing like an Apple product and had a, lighter, a line around the building, you know? I say for $1,000, man, I mean, it's pretty dang cool, you know? Especially if you fix up cars and you spend money on cars. You know how cheap that really honestly is. I mean, it's either buy a Moto Compacto or buy a set of side skirts for the NSX, you know? And even then, it's like a thousand bucks might not even get you the side skirts. So what you get for what you're paying is pretty damn badass. It's easy as hell to ride too, like, and it's quiet as fuck. So uh, I can drive around my, you know, my cat and my dog will follow me when I'm on this thing because it's not uh, scary to them. So I actually took my dog out for a walk yesterday and I just rode this thing around hella slowly and he didn't mind it at all. So that was pretty fun. Um, yeah, other than that, let's see. Uh, bikers don't seem to understand what the fuck's going on when they see you. They're like, the fuck is that? It's pretty funny. Um, you do need places to ride. I've got this really nice like bike path near my house. Uh, it's not so bumpy, although you can see every time I hit one of these major breaks in the pavement, you do get a dunk dunk. So you do want to find nice, nice pavement. Um, a lot of streets aren't nice enough. You'll you'll be going down the street and it's just gonna sound like you're rattling the thing apart. Um, but like I said, I've put a, quite a bit of miles on it now and I've I've rattled this thing like crazy and it hasn't fallen apart on me so I think we're good there though I'm gonna try to plan my routes out a little bit better and not hit any fucking crazy uh concrete but yeah um yeah I love this thing guys as a Honda guy you should get one if you got the extra money laying around dude I mean there's some mods out there you can get for your car for this amount that just don't give you this much fun so I I highly recommend it um, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll just keep it kind of short, I guess, from, from here. But um, so far, 
two thumbs up, guys. I loving it. There's a there's an app you can download. I'm gonna try it when I get back to the house. I haven't even messed with it yet, but you can actually connect through um, Bluetooth, and you can get a bunch of stats like how much power your you know your battery is putting out and how long of a trip you have left. All right, I'm gonna try to make this light, dude. Here we go. All right, we made it. One hand in it, it's a little bit sketchy, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It's taking some practice to one hand this thing. Jesus. See, that street's rough. You get over to this street, smooth as butter. So, anyways, I'm pretty sure the wind's gonna cut you guys out. I'm gonna leave it at that. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.